Time viewers of Channel 5 know the name Steve Sprasia. Steve was a reporter for News Center 5 for 16 years until he moved to North Carolina in 2005. And before that, Steve was a local radio reporter. That's when he became part of the story of the Bridgewater Triangle. The spring of 1979 proved to be the most active period of documented UFO sightings in the history of the Bridgewater Triangle region. A number of news outlets and law enforcement agencies were flooded with reports of large low-flying UFOs. During that time, former WHDH reporters Jerry Lopes and Steve Sprasia claimed to have witnessed what is arguably the most famous UFO sighting to occur within the Bridgewater Triangle. Jerry Lopes and I worked at WHDH Radio, and we were heading down to the Raynham Dog Track, and when we got off 24 onto 106, I noticed this really bright light over the tree line, and the light was coming closer and closer and getting bigger and bigger. And I remember saying to Jerry, what is that over there? So we pulled his vehicle over, and all of a sudden the stars blotted out in the shape of an arrow as this thing passed overhead. Ironically, I'm a big baseball fan, it looked like a baseball home plate, and there were a series of lights on it. And it was very, very wide. Perhaps the width of now, we'd say, 5, 7, 47, wing to wing. It looked like it had a little cord or something hanging off it, and sparks were, were coming off of it. I almost felt like I could throw a rock at the thing. It seemed that close to me. This was pretty much the shape of it. And this thing passed overhead like this. Uh, what, for, for me, what first attracted me was this, this light that kind of came into our field of vision, just like that. And as this thing passed overhead, it just kept coming and coming and coming. And the light kept getting bigger and bigger. I'm an Air Force veteran. I, I've been in the Air Force for four and a half years. I've been around a number of different planes. And I said to Steve, that's not one of ours. And it just hovered there for a minute. It looked like it was over a little bit of a field. And the next thing you know, it just kind of just took off. We continued on to the dog track. And most of the conversation that evening was, what did we see? Up to that point, I had been 100% skeptic. I thought anybody who ever saw these things, they were either crazy or publicity hounds, or there was just something wrong with them in their head altogether. What I didn't realize at the time was that a lot more people had seen it than just Jerry and I. Interestingly, over the course of the next week, there were a series of spottings, different sightings. It was reported in the papers, reported on the radio station, and at that point, Steve and I decided to come forward and say, you know, hey, you know, we actually saw something. A couple of days later, an article appears in the Brockton Enterprise, and not only does it have interviews with Jerry and I, but quite a number of other folks in and around the Randolph area who had seen it, but they've got the staff artist take all of our recollections and put together a drawing, an artist's rendition, which looked pretty much like this. 